Right, uh, here's another infamous video. Um, it's at something I discovered yesterday. It's a way to use the cheat code editor without it crashing. I'm sure many of you have experienced this problem. I've been asked many questions about it, and here's a way to get around it. Um, I actually discovered it yesterday. Uh, as you can see, the picture is actually me, so you don't have to think there's some random guy on my desktop that is actually me. So, um, yeah don't ask. <laughs> um, yep, that's me. Uh, so I'm hoping it just moves on. Right, the files you're going to need are here. I'm going to show you where to get them. Uh, this is my Google Mail. Um, I'm actually talking to a subscriber at the moment who's asked for a request on this particular thing, so I'll also do her request. Anyway, moving on. You're going to need this website again, which I'll put a link to the description in the description. I'll put a link again. That says 144 megabytes, but I think it's more than that. It's like four when you download it. Whatever that you're gonna need that, but and when you uh, when you get it, you should get that file down there, which uh, you're gonna use for user cheat, which is pretty standard. Here's the website you probably haven't been on before. It's where you get your, the cheat code editor. Now I'll put the link in the description, <coughs> as usual. But um. Basically, you want to scroll down and find the R4 CCE, which is the R4 cheat code editor, and you want to click download the download the little the little link. You want to click it and download the file. Um, it's pretty simple. You get that little. It should say R4 CCE. So you want to open it up. It takes a minute. <coughs> Sorry. It takes a minute to do. Ah, here we go. Now you're going to have loads of XML files. Now you don't need any of them. You don't actually have to do anything. You're just going to run the R4 cheat code editor executable file. Uh, yep, you get, you open it up. It looks similar to the old one, but there's been some adjustments. There's a find bar and a load bar at the bottom. Anyway, you want to go to file open. File open. You find the user cheat which you would have extracted from the previous file that I showed you earlier. So you want to open it, and it takes a little while to open it because it's quite a large cheat database so I would suggest you just uh, give it a minute to load the entire thing <coughs> here we go here's all of the cheats available to us and um, it's all of them are there there are it's a long long list and you're gonna have to cut it down if you want it to work with all the games but um, you can see it's got all the games you probably want ever you can need you have Pokemon Platinum there. I know people have been asking me for that. And there's also been a few questions about this game. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Psyduck Accelerator. There's cheats for it there. Now, um, you can see there's a long list and you're going to have to narrow it down. But the request I'm going to probably fill now. It was from a YouTube subscriber. And it was how to add codes without deleting their old codes. So here I'm going to show you. You basically find a code similar to that. It's going to be a weird code looking thing. You're just going to copy it from the internet. I mean, I'm just going to do it from this just to show you how it's done. But it's from the internet normally. You're going to copy it. You're going to click on the name of the game. And you go to item, add code. Or there's a little add code button over there. But add code is what I generally do. You want to change, to put the code title as to whatever you want. Whatever you really fancy. Whatever the code's title it actually is, I would suggest is probably best. The comment is basically how you can activate the code, like uh, press L and R and select or something, something like that. It's going to come out with that, whatever you want, basically. Then the code, you're just going to paste it in, and that's it, basically. You're just going to click aware around it, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, I'm actually going to delete it because I don't need it, but that's how you do it. Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. The only thing left to show you is that it actually keeps the top thing highlighted, so you can delete loads of games at once, which is a very nice upgrade. So, um, but be careful you don't delete games that you're probably going to play in the future. But it's a good um, upgrade to do that because it was annoying to click thing and delete and then click again and everything. So yeah, the find bar as well at the bottom can find Japanese games if you type bracket J bracket blah 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 and close the cheat code editor because I don't need it anymore. Anyway, <coughs> I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, please do comment and rate the video. Subscribe if you can or if you haven't already. 
just please do. Um, yes, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll hope to add some new videos out soon, and for now, that's goodbye.